It's time for a closet update. Let's do this. When we left off last week, we had taken everything out of my closet made my room a complete disaster, um, but had a really good plan moving forward on how to make my master bedroom closet much more functional. So I wanted to do an update today and show you what we've got going on back here, um, what I've built out so far, and kind of show you what it looks like and how I did it. So you wanna see? All right, here's what I've done so far since we left off last time. I painted the room. It's really nice, neutral color. Um, I, the trim went white. It was all the oaky trim before. The light fixture was replaced and new light bulbs, just a stronger strength. And it's amazing if you just change your light bulb sometimes how different a space can look. So that happened there. Then we've kind of got our build out happening. Over here is a tower of shelves and this is going to be for all of our folded uh, items. We like to fold pants and sweatshirts and everything. So that's what this tower over here is for. And then we are gonna do a double hanging bar system, which we talked about before. So the two bars will go um, up high here and then a middle bar right here. And then what I think I'm most excited about is this uh, dresser, built-in dresser piece. And what this is, is this holds our laundry baskets. So I'll show you this in more detail here in a second, but you pull out each one of these little cubbies and the laundry baskets are right inside there. And then uh, we did some floating shelves here. It looks really nice because it's the back wall. It's what you see when you walk in, um, but also for extra storage. I believe we're gonna put our shoes on these floating shelves here. And then last but not least, we did keep this shelf above us here. It was, it was right here at this level right about here. So just raising the bar up, we kept the upper shelf because you can fit a lot of storage up there. Um, I got these little totes that all match just so that they look more cohesive and all together. Um, but it is big enough even for one of those big totes to slide right up there and store extra off-season clothes. So that's going on up above us. This wall over here is gonna be pretty empty. We're gonna um, have some jewelry storage and just some hooks for I don't know, robe, cardigan, sweaters, scarves, things like that. So that wall, I'm just trying to keep as clear as possible, but that's what we've got going on so far. It is amazing how much bigger it feels in here. I know there's no clothes, there's nothing in here right now, but it does, it feels way bigger, way more open and just like a nicer, more inviting space, even though it's just the closet. So it's, it's awesome what a little, a little wood, a little DIY will do. So now let's jump in. I wanna show you uh, the structure and the construction on a few of these pieces in case you wanna build this yourself. All right, let me first tell you a little bit more about this laundry basket dresser. The plans I saw online, which I will link in the description below, had it being a freestanding piece, like fit in her hallway or something. Um, so you could definitely make this freestanding if you don't have a space to kind of build it in. But I wanted this to be built in. It's not, I'm not planning on moving this anywhere and it fit perfectly back here in this little cubby. So the basics of what I did, and this will be step-by-step step on the blog for you. I do have pictures of every step, but I wanna show you kind of how it works and how it's constructed in a video so you can see a little bit better. I started by building my base and um, just raised it up a little bit off the baseboard and then um, made my supports on either side of the wall, made sure it was anchored into the stud, and that's kind of the built-in part of it. Um, I gave it a top, and this is just, it's all plywood that has been trimmed out so it looks uh, like a thicker piece of wood. Oh, it's got a plywood top, and then these little cubby things. Now let me show you. So the basic idea of this is you're gonna open the cubby and throw your dirty clothes in here. There's three baskets. Uh, but the cool thing is it's almost like a drawer in that you can pull it all the way out and then lift the basket out and take it right to the laundry room. So either you can use it either way and I like the versatility of it. So what this is, let me lift this up and just show you kind of what this looks like. I built this around the laundry basket, but these just came from Target. They're standard, easy to find laundry baskets. Um, we just made an L shape covering kind of a casing for the laundry basket here and they do need supports on either side so it tips and it moves the whole thing with it just like that 
Um, and then the front of it, since it is all plywood, I just built it out, trimmed it really nice, gave it a nice trim. Once this is all painted, you won't even know that it's separate pieces of wood. So there's that. Now on the inside here, um, it's a lot of, actually a lot of scrap wood on the inside because you, you're not gonna see the inside so much. So it's a great opportunity to use what you got. Um, I just have supports, a couple of layers of supports and that's holding up the top. It's all um, <clears throat> attached to the wall back there. Um, and so each, each little drawer has its own little cubby it's easy to clean. If a sock falls back there, it's easy to get to. No big deal. Now, two of these doors are the exact same size. And then this one over here, there's a bigger space and there's going to be some dead space because we're going to have our clothes hanging right here. So this one's going to be a little bit harder to access, but I still wanted a third basket, even if I don't use it as much or all the time, there's still a third basket over here. Um, and once the clothes are here, it will look like three cubbies that are individually spaced and equally spaced. So that's what we've got going on here. Again, I can't emphasize enough when you're building anything, be sure to get trim and trim it out. Uh, the, I have pictures of what it looked like with just the plywood, the fronts. It looked crazy. It looked not good at all. But once you add these little pieces of trim, let me show you what it looks like. It looks like this. It's actually called lattice and it's a really thin piece of wood um, and you can just use it to trim out anything and it gives you a really nice clean finished edge. So I wanted to show you that. I wanted to show you how this works. Let's put it back together. There's no hardware holding together or holding in the little cubbies. We could do that if we needed to, but I'm going to try it just as it is. See if it works just like that. See, there we go. So this is the laundry basket dresser that I am so excited about. So now let me show you the cubby here behind us. I'm going to show you how to build it so you can um, figure out how to apply this to almost anywhere in your house. So let me show you that. All right, let me show you how to build this tower. Now I want to show you this, how to do this, because if you learn how to do this simple construction, you can use this anywhere in your house. This is how I built my um, built-in bookcase. Um, you can build a bench like this. I mean, you can use this for just about anything. So let's go over how to build a cleat system using wood. This is just pieces of one by two and I've cut them all the same um, length. The, these cubbies are actually square. So in this case, I could cut them the same length and that made the project easier, but you can cut them however long you need them. What I did first was going from top to bottom, just measured out my cubbies and got an even distribution. Uh, so I can get as many shelves in here as I needed to. And then using this back piece here, I just nailed it right into the wall and I found a stud. So there is a stud back here. So we are directly into the stud there, which just gives some extra support. So that's all nailed in there. Now what you do is you get on the side. We're going to take a side one. First, I line it up right here in the back. So we're level on the back in that back corner. I'm going to take my brad nailer and just put a brad in there. Then I take my level and just line it up. Make sure it's level. Just get and it's deceptive, so make sure you have a level because you wouldn't necessarily think. You got it on there. Okay, and then we're just gonna finish nailing it right across. Now, this board here is already in the stud of this wall. So this has enough support as it is, and we're nailing directly back here into this piece of wood. So we've got enough strength here. Also, these shelves are going to hold close, folded up close. So it's not a lot of weight for the bookcases that I did downstairs in the same method. You got to make sure you hit studs um, in a few different places just to give you the strength that you need. We're going to repeat it again on this side over here. All right, 
just like that. So once you have your cleat system up, let me move this out of the way. Now, all you do is slide your shelf in there, just like that. And then I like to, something like this, it's fixed. We're not ever gonna take these shelves out. Um, I'm gonna attach it with a few brads going straight down. And that gives you a really nice secure shelf. So that is the easiest way to make a shelving unit. Now let's talk one more time about this trim. You can see here, it looks pretty unfinished. The plywood um, isn't the best. You don't really wanna look at that. So again, this little piece of lattice is going to go right along the edge here and it's gonna cover our seams. It's gonna cover um, our cleats in here. You can see just like that. And then we'll do a piece right across the top here, cut to size, and it'll make it look like our shelves are a lot thicker. Give it that thicker shelf look without taking up any more space. So that'll be how I finish that off. And then I'll paint it all out and it will be a beautiful shelving system that we made ourselves. That's the custom size and it serves the exact purpose that we want. A little paint and a little stain is all I need to finish up this closet makeover. And I know I'm excited to see it all put together. So we'll be back next week with the final reveal video. We'll give you a tour of the closet, how it all came together. And I will see you then.